today's recipe on Sara cooks for you is a very unique and special dish cut for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about stay tuned to discover this exotic dish and watch till the end for this I've used about two kilos of washed and soaked horse gram I've soaked them overnight and the next morning I start boiling this with sufficient amount of water as the cut is boiling you can see a froth collecting on the surface of the cut we need to remove this and discard it this process takes about three hours to complete and we are going to go through stages where you can see the color of the cut is getting deeper and deeper this is stage two it looks really dark but it's not done yet when I drop this cut you can see it's a light brown color this color needs to get really deep keep replacing the water as the water level goes down see it's still a light brown color and now you can see the color has really deepened it looks really dark brown and the color when I drop it also looks brown but we'll cook this for some more time and now it's really dark brown you can see and sometimes a blackish layer also develops on the surface of the cut that's when you know your cut is ready and separate this extract using a colander and you can see the horse gram will also be done really well you can break it easily with your fingers so we're going to separate this and now the extract that I have got I'm further condensing this a little because the thicker the extract and the more concentrated your uh, extract or the cut is the tastier your uh, end product is going to be for the masala I've used about 10 tomatoes one small bowl of grated fresh coconut and three medium onions I'm going to grind them together to a paste and in the meantime I'm going to transfer the extract into a bigger vessel because I'm going to add in all the masala and the eggs and the mutton kofta so the you need to take a bigger vessel for this and now I'm going to add in the ground masalas now I'm going to give you a tip here make sure the cut extract is not hot because if it is really hot then uh, there are chances of it splitting so make sure the cut extract is cooled down a bit before you can add in your masalas so I recommend doing this the previous day and then you can add the masalas the next day I've added about 2 to 3 teaspoons of chili powder 2 teaspoons of dhania powder and turmeric 1 4 teaspoon garam masala 1 4 teaspoon and ginger garlic paste is 2 to 3 teaspoons the garam masala I've used is cloves cardamom and cinnamon powder not the other garam masala so we're going to start cooking this put on the flame and add around 8 to 10 chilies you can adjust your spices according to your taste I mean the chilies and uh, about three to four tablespoons of chopped coriander and one small bowl of thick tamarind pulp and salt to taste so it's as easy as this once you get the extract you add in all the masalas this is a really easy way and it's especially good for beginners who are trying the cut for the first time and allow this to cook and cook and cook again and in the meantime boil the eggs and deshell them make slits on the eggs and add them to the cut extract gently drop in all the eggs and the next thing we are going to do is the mutton koftas I've given the link for the mutton koftas as well you can check out the recipe of the mutton koftas my koftas are ready if you don't know how to make them you can check out the uh, check out my recipe on mutton koftas 
these are really soft and they are i have just shallow fried them they are not deep fried and they are ready to go into the cut now i'm going to add add them to the cut and in the meantime let's make the tadka ready for the cut this is the last and final step in the cut making process for this i have used about 3 medium chopped onions first of all i'm going to add a handful of curry leaves in the oil or you can use ghee and add in about 8 to 10 cloves of garlic crushed fry them for a while and then add in the chopped onions thinly sliced onions about 3 medium we need to fry this till it's nice golden brown okay the they are nicely fried now i'm going to add in zeera methi powder about half a teaspoon mix it well and pour this into the cut mix it well this is the final stage and now we just have to let it cook on the stove on a low flame for some time so that all the flavors from the eggs the koftas and the tadka they all need to mix together nicely and all the flavors need to come out taste it once for salt and chilies and trust me if the chili powder or the salt is less and the tamarind pulp is a little less it's not going to give you the taste of cut so make sure you have everything in the right amounts a little spicier that really adds to the taste of the cut you can see it's nicely done and it's thickened up nicely you can see the color of the eggs nice and brown as the cut cooks further you can see the egg color also getting a deeper brown color and as the cut gets old the taste improves so i always make it in bulk you can eat and you can put it in the freezer and it stays good for months together so after taking so much of trouble of making the cut i always love to make a big batch of it so i can put it in the freezer and remove it whenever i want to eat it I